I'm going to show you how to lock away access to some of your WordPress pages until someone purchases a WooCommerce product, but we are not using a specialist plugin. We're going to use a free code snippet. The pages are layout and test, and you cannot access the layout or the test page unless you have purchased two products, the Outback or the nautical. So pretend these are courses, okay? I know I'm using showing you bags here, but stretch your imagination. This is the nautical course, this is the Outback course, or it could be yoga training or something like that. The Outback has an ID of 297, the nautical has an ID of 298. And if we go to my pages, my slug for my layout is layout, and the slug for my test is test. I like to keep things simple on this test website. Now let's look at the code and please do not worry, it is a lot easier than it looks. So if your product ID was 500, go and put 500 in here, here and here, just for consistency. Then we get down to the next section over here. This is where I'm now locking out the page layout. Use the slug name, okay? Don't use the page name, it's the slug name, so stick your slug name in there. And then just make sure you're putting in the right declaration. So 297. So if this was product ID 500, you would ensure that this also says 500. But here's the really cool bit. If anyone goes to that page because they've got the URL, but they haven't logged into their WooCommerce account, then they will be redirected to this page here, which is shop. You would probably have it go to a redirect, you know, like an access denied page or something. And it might say, hey, sorry, you can't access that unless you're either logged in or you've purchased a product. So you might have a box over here for logging in, you know, into WooCommerce or whatever, uh, the my account. And then you might even have like either the product or a shop window. You know, you could easily do all of that. So show them the products, one of them they need to purchase to access that particular page. Down here, we now declare product ID 298. Again, it's kind of similar to what we had above, just slightly different. So if the other product was an ID 5000, you would make sure you put the number 5000 in for consistency. And down here now, it's kind of similar to what we had above, but what we're now saying is to access the test page, you must have purchased either product 297 or 298. And if you haven't purchased either one of them, you will be redirected to this page over here. This works. And I was using a previous plugin before, which was pretty light in what it did. However, this now saves me having to use another plugin. I'm just using a code snippet to lock away access to pages until you've purchased particular products. And it works. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.